Good morning. Your name? My name is Johan. Okay, Johan. Can I have your resume? Yes. Johan, introduce yourself. Sir, my good name is Johan Balpati and I am born and brought up in Andhra Pradesh. Currently, I am staying in Hyderabad. I have completed my graduation in the stream of civil engineering in Vikas College of Engineering in 2021. I have my, coming to my technical skills, I have good knowledge in C-Sharp, PSP, ADO, .NET, HTML, CSS. And my personal skills are, I am an active listener and a quick learner. And my hobbies are, one of my hobbies is playing cricket. It is a team sport spirit. And I had an opportunity to, to lead my school team. That experience taught me how to lead by example, how to make decisions in tougher in physical time. And one of my hobbies is listening to music. Okay. So, you joined it here, right? How many months is completed? I joined in the institute and we completed five months. Almost it's five months. I think that almost for you, ASP.NET and ADO.NET and each and everything is covered. Yes, I completed. Okay, fine. So, how much rate yourself in .NET? In .NET, out of five, I will rate myself for three point five. So let me ask some questions. So what is abstraction? Abstraction, it is hiding the necessary data and showing the necessary data. For example, whenever we are using sending mail, it will send the mail but we are showing how it is sent. Okay, so what is data reader in ASP.NET? Data reader is used to, to read the data from the database. It is followed only manner whenever you use it to read the data from the database. Okay. What is ASP.NET? ASP.NET stands for Active Server Pages. It is used for to develop web applications, web forms, and web services. Okay. What are the state managements in the ASP.NET? State management is a maintaining the state of variable or base throughout the lifetime of the base. There are in two types in state management. One is client side management and second one is server side management. Client side management are there are some properties like view state, hidden state, query string and cookies in server side sessions, catches, application and the database. So what are the access modifiers here? Access modifiers are used to access by who can use that to program or who cannot. There are four types, public, internal, private and protected. Okay, and we have the two more access modifiers also, protected internet protected. and the private uh, protected. Okay, sir. okay, what is the difference between string and string builder? String is a immutable object. Once we create an object for that one, we cannot be able to change it. In string builder, string builder is immutable object. Once we create an object, whenever we want to modify or to change the values in string builder, we, it is possible. In string, we cannot change or modify it because it is immutable. Okay. So what is boxing and unboxing? Boxing means converting value type to converting value type to reference type and uh, unboxing means converting reference type to value type. Okay. Can we then uh, is it, it will be done implicitly or explicitly both? Both are implicitly and explicitly. Okay, the boxing will be done by the only implicitly. Boxing okay, case. whereas the okay, unboxing is done by the explicitly. Uh, explicitly. Mandatorily we need to do, write it. Same, it, like, it is like a implicitly and explicitly. The data type caching is there, right? Like this we need to do. Okay, so what is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is used to always interact with the database. And SQL can create table and uh, delete the table and SQL can retrieve the table from the database and etc. Okay. What is the difference between an array and an array list? Array is a collection of data with a similar data type. And uh, array list means uh, it is also a collection of data type with multiple data types. Okay. What is the difference between data table and data set? In data table, that day, it consists of only one table of the data, and the data set it consists of multiple tables <coughs> with relationships. Okay, so what is the executive scalar method in ADO.NET? 
in particular time we are using execute scalar it will read the data from first row of the first column of the data whenever we want to use some like authentication process or some like we are using execute scalar okay so in c sharp it will support that multi level inheritance multiple inheritance yes sir it is supported multiple inheritance but multiple inheritance we cannot access by through classes we can access through by interfaces okay so what is the difference between local variables and global variables local variables are present inside the class and inside the method and global variables are present inside the class but not inside the method okay what is a processor and what a, what is mean by the storage processors a predefined code is saved in store processor so whenever we want to write that code again and again we are using the store processor it will use it easily okay so what is the purpose of the continue and break statements continue means whenever we using continue keyword it will skip the iteration of the loop while using break it will break the loop okay okay that's all about johan okay thank you sir okay